I think what's interesting about Kyle is he's in a new situation. I don't know how he's going to do with it. I'm not saying he's going to fail or do great, but he he's a mentor now. And it's an interesting concept because you've been a mentor to me and to a lot of people. You were, you were a teacher. I'm a mentor now. I have people on my website and my YouTube channel, like Vish, and who's 21. And now Kyle's a mentor to Trey Lance, who's 21. We know a little something about this. And I wonder how the relationship between Lance and Shanahan is going to go long term. Um, that's all okay. Shanahan. What do you think? It is. Um, okay. He has shown no particular ability or interest in mentoring quarterbacks. Right. I, I, I'm not saying he's bad at it. I haven't seen him do it. Have you? No. I, now, he he coached Robert Griffin III, who got hurt. Hard to say. what I mean, that, that his career fell apart. Then he coached Johnny Manziel, who wasn't a serious professional athlete. I wouldn't put that on Kyle Shanahan. And the rest of, the, of his career, he's coached veterans. And his approach is very um, negative. He's a very negative person in his critiques. He's like the kind of guy who says, you know, uh, you were playing well last week, but you reverted. What the hell is this? That kind of stuff. He uses words like reverted. And yeah. as a, I, I don't know if that's the approach you want to take with the 21-year-old quarterback. You know, it's funny. Um, I remember when Joe Montana was learning. Now, again, I told you Bill Walsh did not praise. Right. But I remember one time, because you could watch a lot more of practice mm -hmm. in the regular season than you can now. And he was trying to show Bill, Joe, Bill was trying to show Joe what he wanted to do on a certain play. Bill was a lefty uh -huh. and Joe was a righty. Well, here's Bill holding the ball in his right hand uh -huh. and throwing it with his right hand wow. right there on the field wow. to show Joe what he had in mind. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. that That's being a mentor. That's let me show yeah. you. Yeah. And he, he put it into the other hand and did it to show him what he had in mind. And I thought, that's pretty interesting for a lefty. Yeah. Didn't Joe, didn't Bill always also say that he wanted his players to have egos? To have what? Egos. That he wanted them to think highly of themselves? Yes, absolutely. It's, I feel like Kyle's very good at taking people down a peg, letting them know what they have to work on, that they're not yeah. perfect, that kind of stuff. But I, I just feel like with a kid, what you want to do is tell him your vision for him, why why you think he can be great and the th steps he needs to take to get there. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that Robert Sala talked about with me. This is what I think you can do. This is why right. I feel like you haven't gotten there. This is the things I think you need to do differently. That's the kind of stuff that make you want to prove someone right, as opposed to Kyle's the kind of guy who makes a 34-year-old want to prove him wrong, I think. Yeah. And we're talking in general about mentoring. Yes. You are very good at it. You've really launched a lot of careers, and you didn't do it by saying you suck. No. You I, help. I, I, I never call up Vish and I'm like, hey, man, we got to talk about this uh, right. show. What the hell was that? You yeah. really reverted. I thought you had a few good a few good shows in a row, and then you do this. I mean, dude, I, I would never do that. Yeah, and you never did that as a, a teacher. I came to no. your classes. Uh, no, I, I was always encouraging. And I wanted to tell you, when I was at Stan Stanford working on my PhD in English, I had an advisor who was like like that. He was yeah. he never praised. He was yeah. it was always he's you know he's British you know, like that. He used to drive me nuts. Yeah. And I was dear friends with the head of the French department, who was a genius. He was he was like a dad. He was twenty three years older than I was. And he once said to me, Lowell, you know, directing a PhD dissertation is ninety percent psychological hand holding hmm. i'll never forget what he said psychological hand holding what psychological concept. hand holding yep and i mean it's a vivid image it's great and it was what my guy never did for me and yep. it's what you and i do for everyone we can every day all the time yeah and it's what i really feel it's robert sala does it very well he did it for me he does it for his players um i wonder with kyle because with kyle uh, he's great at drawing up plays in his mind. I think that's where he can achieve order and perfection in the world. And everything other than that is imperfect and messing it up. And so he sees this people who just don't get his plays right. And it pisses him off. And I think he's just a little negative about things. And I think that's going to be an interesting, maybe he's going to have to change, find a new side of himself, uh, for, for the bet, for the betterment of the team and this kid. You know, he doesn't strike me as, 
a happy-go-lucky person. No, no. He, he kind of dour. Me. I was going to use that word. Yeah. Um, I've never met him, um, but he strikes me as kind of dour. Yeah. And unless when he has a few beers, all of a sudden he starts right. running around with the lampshade on his head. Uh, I, Which, I he may. Which he may. He seems like he's the life of the party, but I think at work he's intense. Yeah. He's yeah. intense. And he's like the, the boss who's always on your ass. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. Oh, you thought you did well today? You didn't do this. Oh, you, you, were, you, were, you were pleased with your performance? Hey, what about this? And it's like, okay, that's good. You want to press me, but you might want to tell you the tell 20. You, yeah. Iggy, can I tell you who else is like that? Who? Billy Bean. Ooh, interesting. With his managers. I have talked to a lot of his managers. and Another genius who's never won. Sorry. Another genius who's never won. And he is on them. Oof. Or, uh, talking about... We have to play Oakland A's baseball. And I, I have talked to a lot of his managers. I'm not saying that Bob Melvin, by the way, said this to me. Right. But I've talked to other guys. Yeah. And there were two in particular who really wanted to not, I mean, deck him, knock him out. Because yeah, he would go that way. Yeah. It's just simply, I don't believe, uh, a way to encourage performance. It's just something I'm, uh, I'm monitoring because I got to say, I feel like, Kyle did a terrible job of mentoring Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, Jimmy was older, and he'd already been mentored by Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, but I think he came here a very confident young man and is leaving as one of the least uh, confident starting quarterbacks I've seen here. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So I don't know if it's Kyle Shanahan's his fault, but he didn't necessarily help. So let's just wrap, before you read that, let's wrap up, wrap up this segment by saying, this is the first time I'm really aware that Shanahan needs to be a mentor. Yes. Which we've discussed what it takes to be a mentor. Yes. Part of it is psychological handholding. Right. We don't have a judgment yet on what he'll be like, but we're watching, we're looking. Yes. And, and I feel like I just want to say that first thing that happened in that first preseason game, that wasn't psychological handholding. <laughs> that was the opposite of psychological handholding. It was the opposite. Oh, you want me to make you look good today? No, we're going to work on all of your weaknesses, <laughs> and you're going to have no pass protection. Go get them, baby. Go get them. Go get them. Go get I them. love it, Iggy. I love yeah. it. Uh, Gizmo Maltese says, why are you so confident that Lance will succeed when in my 30 years of watching football, nobody has been able to predict quarterback performance? Great, great point. I'm saying that mobile quarterbacks like him can have success early on in their careers. Kaepernick had success early on. Russell Wilson, Cam Newton. It's some some of them develop into great quarterbacks. Some of them don't. But I think this guy can be very successful the next few years. We'll see if he develops. Uh, we were just talking about uh, why he may or may not develop uh, with that mentor thing.